Jesus strongly warned us to avoid a fallen angel spirit and its image that represent worship to a false god instead of Jesus. In the book of Revelation, John calls this fallen angel the beast. The Bible gives us enough information to identify the beast. The beast is from Babylon. The beast spirit works with another fallen angel called Satan to deceive many. The Bible tells us the false prophet sets up an image to honor the beast. Muslims know the prophet Muhammad set up the black stone in the Kaaba at Mecca, Saudi Arabia. This is the image Jesus warned about and the beast spirit dwells in the Kaaba. The Bible tells us the beast spirit was active on earth during the Babylonian Empire when it was worshipped. Then it was not active when God locked it in the spiritual dungeon called the abyss when Babylon fell. And finally it would emerge from the abyss and become active again. Only the return of Jesus destroys the beast. This message is about the truth of Jesus. The Bible says Jesus is the Son of God. If you are a Muslim, the truth of Jesus is different from what you were taught, but you must know the truth. The Islamic Quran says Jesus is not God, but just a prophet. The Bible says Jesus was crucified for our sins and rose to life on the third day. Muslims are told this did not happen. The Bible says the only path to God and eternal life is through Jesus. The Quran says that is not true. Because of these and many other differences, it is not possible for the Quran to be true. Only the Bible is true. Today, former Christians are taught in public schools to worship the beast in the Kaaba. Listen to the warnings of Jesus about the beast. The true words from Jesus will save you. The beast, which you saw, once was, now is not, and yet will come up out of the abyss and go to its destruction. The inhabitants of the earth, whose names have not been written in the book of life from the creation of the world, will be astonished when they see the beast, because it once was, now is not, and yet will come. This Bible prophecy means the beast had power on earth at a time before the revelation to John in 95 AD. Then God confined it to the abyss. The beast spirit was not active and had no power at the time of the Apostle John, but Jesus says it would be released out of the abyss sometime later. At that time, it would have great power given to it by Satan. Another name for the abyss is Sheol. Sheol is the spiritual world where souls and fallen angels are held until the day of judgment. The Bible helps us understand by telling us the beast is from Babylon. There are many references to Babylon in the book of Revelation. Who is the beast demonic spirit and when did the beast have power on earth the first time. This is Baal, the god of the Babylonians. It was, then was not while confined, and then it was again when released from the abyss. A second angel followed and said, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great, which made all the nations drink the maddening wine of her adulteries. Babylon the great, the mother of prostitutes, and of the abominations of the earth. The Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar conducted a siege on Jerusalem in 586 BC and then looted and destroyed Solomon's temple. The Israelites were exiled into the Babylonian captivity for 70 years. The prophet Isaiah in chapter 14 describes the destruction of Babylon. This prophecy was fulfilled when the Persians invaded Babylon and the Babylonians were defeated by Cyrus the Great in 539 BC. After Isaiah first details the destruction of the human king, 
He then says the Babylonian demonic fallen angel will be sent to Sheol by God. How you have fallen from heaven, O star of the morning, son of the dawn. You have been cut down to the earth, you who have weakened the nations. But you said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven, I will raise my throne above the stars of God, and I will sit on the mount of the assembly in the recesses of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will make myself like the Most High. Nevertheless, you will be thrust down to Sheol, to the recesses of the pit. The prophet Habakkuk also tells us about the demon from Babylon. He calls the Babylonian demon the Proud One. Behold, as for the Proud One, his soul is not right within him, but the righteous will live by his faith. Furthermore, wine betrays the haughty man so that he does not stay at home. He enlarges his appetite like Sheol, and he is like death, never satisfied. He also gathers to himself all nations and collects to himself all peoples. The Bible refers to the Babylonian demon as Bel or Baal. Bel is Aramaic and Baal is Hebrew for the god worshipped by the Babylonians. Jeremiah tells us Bel is more than a stone idol because God punishes Bel by causing Bel to spew out what he has swallowed. I will punish Bel in Babylon and make him spew out what he has swallowed. The nations will no longer stream to him, and the wall of Babylon will fall. The Babylonian demon confined in Sheol did not have earthly power during the time of the Apostle John in 95 AD. Since it was trapped in Sheol at that time, this is why John said, Now is not. In Revelation chapter 9, we learn an angel looking like a star fell to earth and was allowed to open the abyss. Bel was released from the abyss and took his throne in the Kaaba. So many demons were released that it looked like smoke. One of the demonic spirits was revealed to Muhammad and gave him the false gospel of the Quran. This occurred between 610 and 632 when Muhammad received a false gospel through many visits from a demonic spirit calling itself Gabriel. The fifth angel sounded his trumpet and I saw a star that had fallen from the sky to the earth. The star was given the key to the shaft of the abyss. When he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. The sun and sky were darkened by the smoke from the abyss. And out of the smoke, locusts came down on the earth and were given power like that of scorpions of the earth. Satan, the dragon, gave great power and his throne to the beast. The release of the Babylonian demon from Sheol is the seemingly fatal wound to one of the heads of the beast that is healed. This is what John means when he gives this prophecy in Revelation chapter 13. The dragon stood on the shore of the sea, and I saw a beast coming out of the sea. It had ten horns and seven heads, with ten crowns on its horns, and on each head a blasphemous name. The beast I saw resembled a leopard, but had feet like those of a bear, and a mouth like that of a lion. The dragon gave the beast his power and his throne and great authority. Muslims are expected to pray five times a day. This does not mean that they need to attend a mosque to pray. Instead, the daily prayer is made five times a day and always directed towards the Kaaba image. Since this prayer is to Bel dwelling in the Kaaba Blackstone and not to Jesus, it is wicked. The Kaaba is the wicked house that the prophet Zechariah saw in prophecy long before the Kaaba was built by Muhammad. After the house was built, a basket of wickedness was placed in it. 
The Babylonian demon and Blackstone is the wickedness placed in the house by Muhammad, and the Babylonian demon dwells in the Kaaba after release from the abyss. I asked, what is it? He replied, it is a basket. And he added, this is the iniquity of the people throughout the land. Where are they taking the basket? I asked the angel who was speaking to me. He replied, to the country of Babylonia to build a house for it. When the house is ready, the basket will be set there in its place. The Bible tells us both the dragon, which is Satan, and the demonic spirit, which is the beast, both are worshipped after the beast comes up from the abyss and recovers from its fatal wound. One of the heads of the beast seemed to have had a fatal wound, but the fatal wound had been healed. The whole world was filled with wonder and followed the beast. People worshipped the dragon because he had given authority to the beast, and they also worshipped the beast and asked, Who is like the beast? Who can wage war against it? It seems confusing that non-believers worship both the dragon and the beast, but that is exactly what the Bible told us would happen. How are both the dragon and the beast separately worshipped? The dragon is Satan and is worshipped as the Islamic Allah in the Quran. The Quran says to pray to Allah, and this prayer is worshipping the dragon. Since the Quran denies Jesus is the Son of God, the Quran cannot be the truth, and the Islamic Allah cannot be the true God. Satan wants to be God and deceive Muhammad into worshipping him. Seek Allah's help through patience and prayer, and indeed, it is difficult except for the humbly submissive to Allah. Bowing to, directing prayer towards, and pilgrimage to the black stone in the Kaaba is worshipping the beast. The Quran says to face the Kaaba when worshipping, and Allah, the dragon, is aware of this. So turn your face toward the Kaaba in Mecca, and wherever you believers are, turn your faces toward it in prayer. Indeed, those who have been given the scripture well know that it is the truth from their Lord, and Allah is not unaware of what they do. In response to the dual worship, radical Muslim groups have attacked the black stone in the Kaaba, which is the beast, because they claimed it drew worship away from Allah, which is the dragon. In 1979, armed Muslim terrorists actually took control of the Kaaba for several weeks. ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi said, If Allah wills, we will kill those who worship stones in Mecca and destroy the Kaaba. People go to Mecca to touch the stones, not for Allah. Muslims in Yemen have launched many ballistic missile attacks towards the Kaaba in Mecca. They want to destroy the Kaaba. American Patriot missiles protect the Kaaba today from these radical Muslim missile strikes launched from Yemen. The Bible also tells us the beast demon from the abyss will be one of seven kingdoms with demonic spiritual princes. The beast dwells in a city on seven hills. The Kaaba is in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, and sits on seven hills. This calls for a mind with wisdom. The seven heads are seven hills on which the woman sits. They are also seven kings. Five have fallen, one is, the other has not yet come, but when he does come, he must remain for only a little while. The beast who once was, and now is not, is an eighth king. He belongs to the seven and is going to his destruction. The list of kingdoms with demonic princes are Egypt, Assyria, Babylon, Persia, Seleucid Greeks, and Rome was the sixth. Rome was in power at the time the revelation was given to John. The seventh king followed Rome. This was Abaddon, 
the king of all the demons released from Sheol. The Bible says this demonic spirit remains only a little while, and Abaddon ruled only five months. The eighth king is the Babylon demon released from Sheol. The demon is from the seven, just as the Bible said. They had as king over them the angel of the abyss, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, and in Greek is Apollyon, that is, destroyer. No Muslim can know his or her eternal destiny in this life. According to the Quran, even Muhammad himself was unsure of his fate after death. I am no new thing among the messengers of Allah, nor do I know what will be done with me or with you. But the Bible tells us what happened to Muhammad. The Bible tells us the false prophet and the demonic beast will be thrown in the lake of fire when Jesus returns. But the beast was captured, and with it the false prophet who had performed the signs on its behalf. With these signs he had deluded those who had received the mark of the beast and worshipped its image. The two of them were thrown alive into the fiery lake of burning sulfur. Today we know that the demon from Babylon dwells in the Kaaba. Non-believers worship both the dragon, thinking it to be the Allah of the Quran, and the demonic beast as they face the Kaaba Blackstone to bow and pray. In the Bible, Jesus gave us these and other warnings about Islam many hundreds of years before they came into use for Islamic worship. The Bible is the true word of God. Anyone who takes the Shahada mark or worships and prays to the Kaaba image will not enter heaven. And the smoke of their torment will rise forever and ever. There will be no rest day or night for those who worship the beast and its image or for anyone who receives the mark of its name. The Bible says Jesus is the Son of God. The Bible says Jesus was crucified for our sins and rose to life on the third day. The Bible warns against worship and prayer to the beast and its image. Pray for every Muslim who takes the mark and worships the image that they will learn the truth of Jesus. Jesus is not a prophet. Jesus is the Son of God and he was raised from the dead. Jesus is returning soon. To learn more about Islam and Bible prophecy, see our website at www.revelationnow.org.